Good morning guys, welcome to today's video. Been busy this morning, so we're starting this video late. And have we got a surprise for you, and it pertains to this item that I just picked up this morning. What I plan to do with it, and I'll show you in a while what I plan to do with it, but I also plan to clean up all the rocks that we can't get around the yard and try and pile them all up somehow. We'll see how that works. Uh, I actually ordered a, um, a bigger landscape rake, but it won't come till August. Who would have thought you can't even get stuff till August? That's a long way away. Good morning guys, welcome to Saturday. And today's gonna be a good one because we have been keeping a secret from you guys. More about that later. Okay, so you guys know that tomorrow is Gabby's birthday. She's gonna be 14 years old. She, it's gonna be her second birthday in lockdown. And I wanna make the day as, as fun for her as possible. Last year, her friend came, brought her a drink and socially distanced across the driveway. They got to meet Molly for the first time. Like, last year was a little better. This year, she's stuck on her, in her house. No friends, no family, no nothing. So I asked her, Gabby, what do you want for your birthday supper? And I'm excited, like I love a good supper that's like a big surprise supper. What do you want, what do you think she's gonna choose? Like what do you want? No, not dessert. What do you want for her birthday supper? Uh, sushi. I want sushi too, like, but the chances are, Gabby is never gonna choose sushi because she hates it. So what do you think your darling daughter chose for her birthday with supper? McDonald's. McDonald's. I hate McDonald's. Yeah, Sam hates McDonald's. Like, if we're gonna have a birthday dinner, I don't want McDonald's. We can't eat in any restaurants because of COVID. We can just do pickup. So yeah, McDonald's, McDonald's. But wait until you guys see her amazing cake. Uh, Sam and I are out doing our Saturday shopping. On the list today is just grain. I think that's all we have to do is get grain. Is it just grain? Probably. Yeah, grain for our mares. I'm on a mission here. I am. See if I can get some balloons, paper plates. You should be able to get that stuff, right? And uh, yeah, for Gabby's uh, birthday. That's what I'm here for. Let's see if I can get some. Can't find it. Can't find it at all. Can't buy non-essential plates. Can't buy non-essential wrapping paper. Can't even buy balloons. Like what the heck? What am I gonna do? You know what the funny thing is, is that I was telling somebody at work today and they said, oh, go to the pharmacy. You could buy Mother's Day cards there. So I guess that's where I have to go to get this stuff because I can't get anything here. Oh, look at that. I can get cards here. I could get cards. Not blocked off. I can get some wrapping paper. Now I just have to look for paper plates. See if I can find some paper plates. So my luck, all gone. Nothing here, empty shelves. But they do have some paper napkins. I'm gonna get those. I want you to try these. What are they? There, this one's birthday cake, and it's the Hershey stuff. I like the cookies and cream one. And this is the strawberries and cream. Which one tastes best? The strawberry one? They I taste bad? <laughs> I think I ate them too. It's not bad. I do not like them. Yeah. Today we got the cutest package of earth. It says, hi, I've been watching you for five years. I love your videos. The P is for Penny, the W is for Willow, the G is for Gracie, and the other stuff is for your cat and for you. <laughs> please, please put this in a video. I know you will, I think it says. <laughs> but how cute is that packaging? This is from this is from a girl named Sophia, and Sophie's gonna open it. But isn't that adorable? She wrote the message on the box. We also got this beautiful letter from Talia. She says that she jumps a two nine the triple oxer. That's the biggest jump she's ever jumped on. Maybe her pony named Foxy, who was uh, who was Elise, and 
she drew these adorable pictures for us and Penny. And, okay, these are not for you. Not I think this. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Wait. That's good. So people are saying that we could use that to train Daisy. Like to it? get her attention. Okay, but other people say don't use too much of that. And I agree, but that's These cool. are for me. The mochis are for that's me. That's adorable. Okay, so that's what's funny is that Sophie was wanting those mochis. She wanted to order I them today. Oh uh, my god. You gosh. can open the rest. I want to open the mochis. <laughs> She's like, let's see. Let's show them before you open it. That's cool. They're called, they're not called mochis, they're called... Well, they're mochis. Okay. Well, <laughs> anyway, super cool. So, Sophie, you don't have any of these, right? I don't have any mochis. Oh, my gosh. They are adorable. They are so cool. <laughs> super cute. Say thank you to Sophie. Thank you, Sophie. Oh, these are so cute. We can hang these on their stalls. They're painted le letters. That's amazing. You got chinos. Gracie. Oh, Gracie, I got Penny, I love it. They're super cool. You know what would be neat? If we put like a hook on these and then hang them in our- It could be a W or an M. Well, hey, this is not a treat for you. She just took a big bite of it. <laughs> no. Happy. So we got all these letters for our horses. Super amazing. I'm guessing dad gets the chocolate. We should give dad the chocolate, you think? Or we should give Gabby the chocolate because you got the oh, mochis, yeah. smochis. Yeah. Gabby, so Gabby cute. wants the I chocolate. Can't even give them their first bath. <laughs> what? Why do you give them a bath? Ow, Gabby poke me with a knife. Don't pat poker with a knife. First you uh, poke, stab the the shavings bag. Now you poke your sister. Come on now. I told Dad that you wanted McDonald's for your birthday meal, and he said, "No way. We're having sushi." Oh no. <laughs> I, <hate> sushi. <laughs> I know. We might have to get you McDonald's and us sushi for your birthday. I want McDonald's. Oh, I know you do. I'm gonna try and figure out a way that we can hang these on our girls' stalls. They're super I cute. Kelly's so smart. When we come down to get the girls, she just goes right for the willow. <laughs> Walks out. That is called being a good person, thinking of the hardest part. Or do you just do that because you know it's gonna take longer for you? She doesn't wanna wait. Okay, so we're gonna take the horses out to eat grass. And then I'm gonna reveal our secret, our secret, you guys. Like, we've been working on something for like the last week, maybe two weeks, I guess the last week, we've been working on something. It's a huge project, something that could change our vlogs in a big way, something like, something exciting, like something new that we're doing. And I'm gonna show you guys, I'm gonna reveal. It's not ready yet. I'm gonna reveal it now because I don't know how long it's gonna take for it to be ready. And I kind of can't not show it to you because people are gonna start saying like, why aren't you riding Penny all the time? Like, why aren't you like, wait, I'm gonna show you guys. But first we're gonna take the horses out for, for lunch. but it's super small, especially for horses like Chino. Even for anybody, it's super small. We have been working on, dun da 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 we change, We're turning our outdoor into a real outdoor, you guys. I never knew how many rocks there were. So Sam's been working hard. We, uh, so today he's gonna scrape and get rid of rocks. Lots of rocks, little rocks. Oh, 
it's a huge change already, a huge difference. I miss the grass already, but in the end, this is going to be a good choice, right? Are you excited? Yeah. <laughs> What's your first exciting thing to do out here once we get um, it finished? Uh, you want to ride out here? I want to just put all the jumps up and make it beautiful. So everything is out waiting for it to be finished. Then we're going to set you this know baby up. Um, so I came in the barn to finish updating you, but we're definitely getting an, in, an outdoor arena so just to make this farm a little bit more user friendly for our horses. And we're excited about it. Even Gabby's excited about it. Even, even the ghost is excited about it. Did you guys hear that big bang? <laughs> Anyway, I just wanted to share that with you guys because hopefully in the next few weeks it'll be finished and we can share it with you guys and we can really start getting out there and riding. One of us, one of us, gotta say the obvious. Nobody loves me better. Nobody loves me better. Nobody loves me better. Hi, girlies. So this morning, strange thing, Daisy and Molly helped me in the morning. Molly and Daisy were here to help me in the morning and uh, Ruby was nowhere to be found. At night the dogs know when it's time to bring the horses in because they come to me and, and they bug me because I think I'm the only one that brings them in every night. So I bring them in every night and the dogs come always around me wherever I am and they bug me and they say, come on, let's go, let's go to the barn. It's time to go. So it's kind of when I know it's time to go to the barn and today it's almost seven o'clock, it's still light out. But I like to leave the horses out longer during the day because it's light out and usually in the winter time they're in early when it's dark. It's just easier for us or easier for me to bring them in so I'll be bringing them in now come on Molly Molly let's go I usually bring the dogs in this room so they don't bug the horses that's what happens all the time that way it's nice and quiet right right Penny nice and quiet you ready to come in you ready to come in? I want to show you that she's not too afraid of me going in her stall now. But we'll see. Walk slow. 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 Uh oh, she's run, gonna run me over. Slow. <laughs> ah, they're antsy for their food. It's antsy for your food. Me? Hey. Hey, Gracie? Usually she's fine now with me coming in her stall. See, she hasn't backed up yet. Either that or she's really uh, enthused about her food because it's late, it's seven o'clock. Hey, okay. well, Penny, hey. She's actually been better for me and I think it's because I give her treats now when I walk her out in the morning. So that goes a long way. Just a little bit of treats goes a long way. So you guys know tomorrow is Gabby's birthday. It's her 14th birthday. And like I said, it's her second birthday in, uh, in lockdown, in isolation. This one is even worse than before. She has like nothing going on in her life right now. No lessons, no instructors, no friends, no family, no nothing to celebrate her birthday. But we're gonna do our best to make it the best birthday for her. So I had planned like a bunch of things. Like I sent Sam to the store the other day and I was like, get balloons and get a nice tablecloth and get some napkins and some paper plates and like, we'll make it so nice. No, none of those are essential in Canada. So this is it. This is what she's getting. She's getting a new Palomino horse. <laughs> Just joking. I know, we, we love these. I'm like, need to find a spot for them. And he has a super cute I keep them in our in our hutch because I don't want my grandkids when they are allowed to be here to and wreck he even them. Has a bit. I know, and it even looks like Finn's hair. Somebody made Finn's these for us. Like 
And they're so gorgeous. Anyways. And the legs are bendable. So I can yeah, like they're so cool. Like, I wish I could sleep with them. Like, but this totally looks like Finn. Okay. So this is it. This is the whole, well, not the whole thing. We have some surprises for tomorrow. But Sam was able to get one pack of pink flamingo napkins. Do you know what pink flamingo is about? No. It's like a certain birthday, like 60th or 50th or something. I think it's. Well, it's all I had. Yeah, so she's getting pink flamingo. She's got a couple of presents here. Um, then I made treat bags. Sam and I made treat bags. We bought stuff to put in a treat bag. Ordered it online and then did uh, curbside pickup to make it extra special. I'm really excited. But anyway, before we end the vlog, I want to show you guys what we did this afternoon. What I did this afternoon. I was laying in my bed talking to my friend and my friend has a baby and my friend sent me a video and she grabbed her baby's sock off. Her baby was sitting in her high chair. She grabbed her sock off and the baby just started laughing hysterically. And then I started laughing hysterically and then I'm like, I'm gonna try it. So this is what happened. I took my phone, I went into Gabby's room. I'm gonna show you guys the video now. I hope you guys have a really good Saturday. We'll be back at it tomorrow. If you feel like it, please take a minute to comment below and wish Gabby a happy birthday. I know that she doesn't have all the things that she's used to having and most and lots of people don't this birthday, but I know just hearing happy birthday from you guys will make it a little bit extra special. What are you, <laughs> what are you doing? Hey, don't touch my blankets! Wait, I need to see your feet. <laughs> Where are your feet? Why? Oh, they're way up here because I have to show you something. Watch what are you out! Doing? <laughs> <laughs> Don't you know that you're beautiful?